Hello everyone, and welcome to my Burning Crusade Karasan Attunement Guide. You can pick up the two first quests at level 68, right in front of Karasan. These two quests are fairly simple. The first one will give you a quest item, and this quest item we will have to use in this zone. The other quest will tell you to collect 10 essence, and these are also collected in the same zone. There are two caves right in front of Karasan. The first cave here is where we can use the quest item, and on the other side there is another cave where we also have to use the quest item. I'll start with this cave and show you what to do. In the cave you can find a lot of monsters, and killing these will drop the ghostly essence. You don't need to collect all 10 yet, because we can also collect these in the other cave. At the bottom of the cave you can find this location, and in here you have to use the quest item. Once you have done this, leave the cave and go to the other one. At the bottom of this you will find a water environment. Here we will have to use the quest item. Once you have done this, leave the cave and on your way out make sure to collect all 10 ghostly essence. Once you hand in both quests, you will get a follow up quest. This quest will tell you to go to Dalaran. Hand in the quest and accept the follow up. The follow up will tell you to go to Shadrid City in Terracar Forest. In the middle of Shadrid City you will hand in this quest. This NPC will give a follow up quest and in this quest you will have to get the first key fragment. The first key fragment is picked up in Shadow Librand. But in order to enter Shadow Librand you might have to get the Shadow Librand key. You could always find someone else with the key or maybe a rogue who can lock pick this but else you will have to do static halls for the key. Killing the final boss will make you able to loot this chest, and in the chest you will get the key for Shadow Librand. Right next to the final boss in Shadow Librand, you will find this object. Clicking this object will summon a guardian. Kill this guardian and loot the fragment. Head back to Shadowed City and hand in the quest. The next quest will tell you to get the second and the third key fragment. The second fragment is rather easy to get. In Sankamarsh you can find the dungeon Steamwald, and in Steamwald, right next to the first bus, you can see this water environment. In this water you will find another object, right click the object, summon the bus, and pick up the second fragment. Now you will have to collect the third fragment, but this is rather difficult to get, because we have to do a prequest. I have a guide with everything you need to do in this prequest, and I'll link this in the description below the video. Once you have done the prequest, you will get the Architress key, and with the Architress key, we can do the dungeon Architress in Netherstorm. In Architress, we have to collect the third key fragment, and this you can collect at this location. Kill the Guardian, loot the third key fragment, and go back to Shadrud City. In Shadrud City, we will be able to pick up a follow-up quest. This quest takes place in the dungeon Black Mirage. You find this dungeon in Tenaris in Caverns of Time. But in order to do Black Mirage, you will have to do a few pre-quests. Talk to this dragon, pick up the quest and fly down. Hand in the quest and pick the follow-up. The follow-up will tell you to follow a guardian for around 10 minutes. The next quest will tell you to do the dungeon Old Hills Patch Foot Hills. Once you have completed all the quests related to this dungeon, then you will be attuned for Black Mirage. But like I mentioned, make sure to complete all the quests, or you will not be able to do the dungeon. You find the entrance to Black Mirage at this location. In this dungeon, you will have to find this NPC, and once you get close to him, the encounter will start. Portals will now start to appear. And from these portals, there will spawn some dragons. Make sure to kill all of them, or you will eventually fail the dungeon. A boss will also appear after 6, 12 and 18 portals. Once you have taken care of all portals, and made sure that Medivh didn't die, then you will complete the quest. Hand in the quest, and the follow up quest will tell you to go to Shadrud City. In Shadrud City, you will get the master's key. And with this key, you can now do Karasan. Also make sure to pick the follow-up quest. This quest will tell you to go outside Karasan. Here you hand in this quest, and you'll now get a quest for this raid. 
By completing this series, you will gain reputation with the Violet Eye. And this will allow you to get an Epic Ring. I hope you found this guide helpful. In case you would like to see more TBC content, make sure to check out my channel. As always, thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.